you're looking at a homestead that has an off-grid rainwater catchment system since 2007. Starting at the top and working our way down, our house has a Galvalume roof. Galvalume is recommended by the Texas Rainwater Catchment Association. It is important not to use tar shingles on a roof to catch rainwater because they leach toxic substances into the wall. There is a metal mesh called a gutter guard that keeps leaves and other large particles from going into the gutter. I clean the gutter guards once per year. From the gutter on the roof, the water goes down an aluminum pipe and into the tank. I do not use PVC pipes because PVC leaches toxic chemicals into the water and also because PVC eventually deteriorates from exposure to the sun. The water storage tank that we are using is made in Australia and also sold in the USA. The galvanized metal walls are strong and have a very long life and there is a liner inside the tank that is made of a food grade material. This type of tank has a higher safety rating for not leaching toxins into the water than plastic tanks. Before the water enters the tank, it passes through a screen that catches the small particles and prevents them from entering the tank. I clean out this screen approximately every three months. You can see the particles that the screen has caught. Anyone who's ever kept water in a tank knows that if you don't do something to keep bacteria and other things from growing in it, you get a pretty nasty swamp. So what we have right here is a ozone generator in this little box from Jet Engineering. And there's a pump inside there. It pumps the air through this small plastic chamber that has silicon beads that absorb moisture. And these beads right now, you might notice, are pink. When they're absorbing moisture well, they're blue. Once they turn pink, you need to put them in a little toaster oven or bake them somehow until they turn blue again. The ozone is pushed through this hose and into the water inside the tank. There we go. Good old ozone. Keeps that water clean. It kills the bad bacteria. Now you're looking at the pump inside my kitchen. This pump is hooked directly to the tank we just looked at. The pipe runs underground to keep it cool, keep it out of the sun, keep it out of harm's way. The pump that you are now looking at is a constant pressure pump. We use this pump for the shower. If you use an on-demand water heater, a constant pressure pump is essential. For the drinking water, we have a two-stage process. First, the water goes through a charcoal filter, which I replace approximately every two to three months. Then the water passes through a UV light that kills any pathogens that might have made it through the carbon block filter. The taste of this water is absolutely wonderful. I am convinced that filtered, mineral-free rainwater is very healthy as well. Our homestead is in a part of Texas that is prone to droughts. There have been summers where it did not rain for months. For this reason, we have rainwater catchment systems on the smaller buildings and sheds on the property as well. We are careful not to waste water and have never run out of water. Being off the grid on water, I try to utilize every roof possible. So I have two small structures here, and both of them are going into this small 500 gallon tank. And this tank is used uh, solely for flushing a toilet 
in this one small building here. The money that we have invested in this system was well worth it. In the long run, we have saved a significant amount of money by not paying monthly water bills for nearly a decade. And the best thing about it is that we are not drinking toxic fluoride, chloramine, or chlorine.